Well, some say sex sells, and in that case, the knowledge is free 99. I lay wigs and bitches, so don't play. You gotta be quick when you enter my court. Next. I'm gonna acquire taste, so if you don't like it, acquire some taste. I'm the royal king of this castle. from Malik um, to meet with him after we got back from New Orleans and a couple weeks after that um, and I was kind of I don't want to say I was dreading it because I don't really go into situations like necessarily dreading it but I knew that I was not looking forward to this sit down because I knew that it was probably just going to be more of the same like the violin playing the same music though there were other people who were saying things about you Myself not included, I was not speaking about you, whatever like that, in, in that context. At the end of the day, um, I felt like you were being unfair to Gerald in that situation. Like I said, it's not my business, but me watching that play out, I didn't like it. And so, when it seemed like you were ganging up on Gerald, I made it clear that I was not. I'm ganging up on Gerald and I'm a gang. I'm a gang all by myself. No, I'm because at the end of the day, you, you were sitting up at the summer party talking about him. Y'all were sitting up talking about him. I didn't say y'all gang up on him. I said when it seemed like you guys were duck, were teaming up on him, I made it clear that I didn't like it. The only thing that I've discussed about Bill is what he had said about me. Okay. I've I never of, said anything about him. Outside of your friendship relationship bond that you have with Gerald, mm -hmm. I can safely say that I didn't think that me and you had Right, so what, what confused me is when you did show up to my house in an hour, and I invited you in graciously, and then you go back to a group of, of friends group, and you're talking shit, saying I something said, wasn't thing up in jail. No, you sit at the table in New Orleans and told me you exactly asked what you me, said. You asked me what I told you. Which I told okay, you. so that's what I'm saying. And you couldn't but you have asked just, me. You couldn't have just told Gerald because I'm Gerald wasn't the person like, that told me that you had you stuff to say. <laughs> I mean, surprised. so that's what I'm saying. You just couldn't tell Gerald because Gerald wasn't the person that brought me back the information. What I'm saying is, if we, when I had the conversation with you at the park, we left off and I thought we were moving in a positive direction. When you showed up to my house and I invited you in, and then, you, then I hear that you're talking shit about my home and where I stay and if we stuff is not up to park. Yeah, I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't, I left New Orleans, I w went to New Orleans under the pretense that we were still in a good, uh, in a good, in a good situation. Right. You had came over to the house, I had explained to you in another vulnerable moment exactly what was taking place like in said, my life, and, like I said, I and then I arrived in New Orleans, and it's like, but when you, you talk and shit, it's running you, back. So, so, go, so, saying all of that, when you were talking you about how Gerald didn't have no furniture, I, I, when have, have I said that? You said, I said that to Gerald after he came for me on social media in, in, in said, public, in a public yeah. event. I told that to him in a right. FaceTime call. Like yes, well, in a FaceTime call. Made you made brought that to the camera. Let's be it. very clear. Yeah, okay, listen. It. Yes, I said it to him after he had came for me twice. But listen, I'm just, I'm, right back down okay, right. let, back down. no, I'm just yes. telling you no. You want to address something else. So now you want to address why my voice is raised. Bit. My voice is raised because something in the peanut gallery is not clicking up there for your ass. So it's like, it's frustrating me at this point. And now I, I, I've had it.
at this point, I have had it. I'm done. Oh, definitely not. I have a brand. I have a reputation. And it is not rowdy. It is not unprofessional. It is not real house, uh, lonely housewives of Atlanta. Because at the end of the day, that's what you're giving to me. You, you're giving um, houseboy of Atlanta. So it's not housewife, it's not nothing, but you just being loud for no reason. No, I'm just yeah, letting you know, no, yes, no, no, I'm done. Bye. It's like, girl, bye. Bye, Jerome. I see you for what you are. Go hit a record or something because I'm not gonna play ball with you. Bye, I'm done. Was you surprised he got up in there? No, I was not surprised at all. Malik is weak. One thing about Malik, he's weak. He's not good on his feet. He's weak. I just wanted to express to you that I understand a little bit better now um, why you were so hurt by what I seen. I understand that you had a scene, whatever happened in New Orleans. I understand. And I wish that you were still here so that I could express to you that I do apologize and I'm sorry. I did not know, I did not understand that you were that hurt about me, to be perfectly honest with you. I honestly thought that once we hashed it out or whatever like that, I thought that the moment was over. And I am very sorry that you, I'm very sorry that what I said hurt you because I would not want anybody to speak on how I was living, period. Once, twice, any, any amount of times is not okay. And I understand that. Uh, mask on. Uh, on. <laughs> uh, he by him. He by him? He by him. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like the, uh, the all brand of T Rocket Race. But mine's is, is working. <laughs> My T Rocket Race is alive. Hello. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Hello. Love y'all. Oh, we get all of it. All of it. <laughs> oh. The girls is bring a donation. Okay. Where's our donation? Oh. You need to bring our donation. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> you said, awesome. this is cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is real cute. My thing is was just I just wanted to come together um, for the season finale. I really want us to come together and really show people that we do come together, we team up and just give back. Hey girl, what's going on? Hey girl, hey. I'm trying to get my um. Yeah. How you doing? I'm trying to get my trying to get my feet, my face feeling. Let's just get your face feeling. What's going on though? What's going on in Alabama, Tuscaloosa? Working, getting everything together. I'm about to release my new product. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to start making my own shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, not yet, but yeah. oh. it's December, but bitch, just close enough. You know, I'll be, you know, I'll be behind. You know what? It's been forever. Like I'm seeing Casper. Oh, I'm Hello. Thank you. Hello. Oh, 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 you in the house? <laughs> You almost missed it. Let me tell you something. You almost missed it, honey. Your hair is slayed Thank you. How you doing, though? I'm doing fine. We're putting the stuff that we donated. Look at that. That's something Cushion is my cologne. No, no, that's the Cushion that blood. I mean, that's the cigar. But yeah, I hope it ain't. I hope it ain't. Yeah, I was just in a part tonight. No, no, we got you that blowing. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, thank you. But I really gotta smoke. I eat weed more. That was good. You eat the weed? Yeah. Wait, hold on. How you eat it? Animals. Yeah. Animals. Oh, okay. I thought you were <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought you were bad like a bad man. Or a nigga said eat all the time. You get spoon in it. No. You never know that. I thought, you know. They're eating. Good. They know everything. Oh, my God. I thought they were cooking in there. Somebody told me that they sniffed on um, um, the keyboard good. spray. Good, huh? The keyboard spread that you spread the keyboard. Oh, oh, the one that you're doing that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's they been that's, doing that. You're supposed to loosen up your muscle for your, your. So you don't have some keyboard blow? No, in a car, keyboard blow. Keyboard blow? You don't have a keyboard blow. It is a sexual store. I've got it's a sexual. <laughs> you can buy it at the sexual store. But I forget what it's called. I actually have some at home. Child, that, that makes you sense. You sniff it. The keyboard yeah. stuff that you blow. But I don't know. They must. I don't know. I don't know. Why are you doing that? But I know it's the cassette. I know the cassette. I like that keyboard blow. Okay. Some very familiar faces. So Rudolph, who is somebody um, I've seen around in Atlanta and stuff like that. You know, we visit the same bars and stuff like that, and we've also had you know conversations before. And so to and he came around the group before. So to see him again, I was really really excited to see him. Anytime me and Rudolph get together, it's always a good time. Um, and then uh, uh, people started donating clothes. Um, shout out to Delta Vault Oops Law Fraternity, my, uh, Fraternity Incorporated, my fraternity, uh, because we did do donate some clothes as well. Me and uh, I was talking to Jamie because I was looking up shelters in Atlanta, and we just have one LGBTQ shelter in Atlanta. Really? It's really not even a shelter, it's like a 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. type of thing. Like, wow. It's called Austin Found. So that's the way. So that's the. So that's the LGBTQ. Why did he name it Lost and Found? I think that name is so shady. <laughs> Y'all don't think that? <laughs> they found I don't know. I don't know. Because why I say that? Because you know, oh, the you know, way that we are. Oh, and we're lost. And we need to well, well, I know this is well, the name. Well, I can't know this is 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 the name. You can go right down there to the pool, Dawson. So, Lost and Found Youth is an LGBTQ center for um, the homeless population, like the homeless youth. And so they feed them, they find them jobs, like they really, really take care of them. Yeah, but we're giving it to the wrong people. We don't want to get to the homeless. I, 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 wait, wait. I mean, whatever. If, if, if it wasn't for me, if it wasn't for me, I wouldn't so, do it. So, so, because of the name, I think it's shady. They could have came up with right now. So it was, you know, something. Yeah, right now, I'm not going to dissect them for many people. You got to look at the point, Atlanta. Surrounded by gay peoples, big city full of gays, and you come up with the name Lost and Found, and you think I want to donate? I can have fifty thousand dollars, and you ask me to donate one dollar and ten cent. I would not. Lost and Found. She's like Lost and Found you. Why they call it Lost and Found you? Well, girl. If you would be quiet and listen, I'm trying to break down how the name came about. But you 
so busy doing this, girl. I'm gonna need you to be on me. This is the one time I'm gonna need you to be like Miss Carrie and be on me, girl. This is the one time I'm gonna need you to, you know, just hush it up. <laughs> so Wait, Rainbow Beard does not shave. I wanna go with that. No, we're gay and they represent us. So Rainbow Beard, it's the same thing. I'm lost the Rainbow. So, they tell you, no matter what you name, so they say, huh? Yeah. No matter what you name, this name is. No, I just like, can't you just get a damn kiss to close? I just think. <laughs> <laughs> so, they can get the clothes. I'm saying if it was me. So, are you not going to donate? No, my donation over there, baby. <laughs> we are ready to be in, um, um, bag wash. We already been talked about. We already been beat. We already been. They already killing us. They already doing all this. So you say it lost and found? If anybody with a brain, they would think of it too. Why are you so angry? I'm not angry. I'm you great. are angry. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I can throw my baby down my throat. I can throw my I can do whatever I want. Why are you so angry? I'm ashamed. Uh, That's who I am. Next. And who are you, Jimmy? I, I don't here. know you either, Jimmy. You call me Jimmy Neutron. You call me Jimmy Neutron. You call me whatever the fuck you want to list you Why are you so angry? Let's talk about that. The vibe that night was definitely really off. And I feel like, you know, you're on social media being this big social media bully and you see me. You know, we could address it, but you didn't want to address it. So I opened up the floor. I asked the question, like, what's up? What's going on? But I'm very, I'm even more confused because I'm asking you what's going on and you don't want to talk about it. I know name. nothing about you. It don't take no word. I don't, no, I don't know nothing you about, you. about you. I don't know nothing about, let's don't talk about it. To me then. Don't How old are you? Me. Don't How old are you? Let's talk matter. about it. I'm two, let's talk about I'm it. Ten. All you mean, you act like a 10 year old. Thank you. You act Thank like you. a 10 year old. I appreciate that, Nick. You act like a 10 year old. Are you up for I'm standing up for who the fuck I'm gonna stand up for. Good job. So you try to get three lines. Great job. Good job. Great job. We finally have three lines. Great job. We finally have three lines. Great job. Find Great job. Let's talk about it. Why are you so angry? But I'm talking. But I'm talking. I'm talking. Yes, you guys are great. Amazing. Let's give it up for them. Let's give it up for them. Hey, what the fuck is going on? Like, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I want you to know this, okay? I want you to know that Ro is going to give it to you. In order for there to be resolution to a problem, people have to, one, own what they did, two, no, a one, own what they said, mm -hmm. two, own what they did, and three, be open to Listen to the other side. At the end of the day, if but I don't know, know the other bro, side. Bro, I'm not done talking. But I don't know the other bro, side. Bro, okay. Let's talk but bro, about when it. I, no, when, I wanna, when no. I heard production, what's the, bro, when I when I heard from production that you had an issue, no, I heard from production that you had an issue. Jamie opened up the floor. You no longer had an issue. So after that, I was done. You heard from production I have an issue with with what? what you heard. You, I heard that you said that. Me and Jared were attacking you, or you. I never attacked. said that. I never well, how said did that. you feel? I was asking the question. I don't care what volume and you hit. You can keep going. I said, I feel like you guys are in the I did not individually assassinate your character. I don't know your character. I did not. I did not assassinate your character. Bro, what was I to see you? Bro, what was I to see you? Have a nice day. Bye. You too. Have a nice day. Bye. 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 Bye.
to talk. So I get there, we was talking about transgender and how I became a transgender and why. Hey, hey. what's poppin'? What's T? Hey, Kwanzaa. Hey, T. Hello. No T, honey. No T today. No T today. <laughs> no tea today. <laughs> no tea. You love T. I love it. <laughs> hey, Miss Kwanzaa girl. Oh, hey, <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Scary spice. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. But thank you for coming over. I just wanted to like get a group of friends together and have like open conversations about like trans issues, your experience being with being a trans woman. Um and yeah. And also I invited like my friends here too and you know how they feel about trans issues. Because growing up on Fort Lauderdale for me. I didn't really grow up or knew a lot of trans girls or trans people until I moved to Atlanta. Carrie was like the first trans person I really, really knew like that. I did know of Juicy, but that she's more of Garnett's friend. Mm -hmm. um, and we don't talk on the phone like every day. So when Carrie moved in, it really opened up my eyes to trans issues. Like I didn't even know like saying tranny was rude. I had no idea. I'm, I'm to the point, you can call me whatever the fuck you want to call me because I know what I am. Tranny, I'm, transsexual, TS, even a she man. I agree with her. You know, I know what I am. I mean, so at the point is, I'd be like, okay, what? I, I just can't like, I know that. That's how I was at first. I was like, don't call me no tranny. Right. Don't, I was I feel like, like, you know, should have like, a high standard and a high label about yourself. Right. Because mm -hmm. whenever you put out there, dicks will gonna be thrown at you. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to be somewhere and say, say for instance, you are friends mm -hmm. and one of your friends in public or in the mall somewhere they come up hey my friend transgender <laughs> you get what I'm real, saying or you be it, it, this go look right. they're trying to, they're trying to put you out right. they're trying to let it be yeah. Yeah. but some what people already are. know right. what they're you are right. 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 you know I'm not just gonna walk in my walk away hey transgender like but no but Kwanzaa is right now where I'm from people are messy and it's real safe but that's about to be a mess but at the same time I'll be like okay I'm gonna try so so that word to use no like nobody can use that word because if I see you in a mall I'll be like hey girl yeah. I wanna come up with like that. Yeah. 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 That's true. Yeah. That shit. They do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody got a little man. Mm -hmm. You know, they do stuff. Mm -hmm. But if, yeah. if you want to out, out me, because, okay, I'm trans, whatever. Mm -hmm. If everybody knows I'm trans and they still like me, they like me. I would like to ask you, too, how long have you been a tr trans woman? Mm -hmm. Or do you call yourself a trans woman? Or do you, how long you or do you transition? Or transition. I mean, transition. Yeah. It's been seven, eight years. But I'm not gonna say it's been seven or eight years because I haven't had my brace and all that good stuff then. Mm -hmm. Got my brace done about two years you know? Two years ago. Okay. It's gonna be two years in February. Okay. Because it, you got trans, trans woman and transgender are different. Transgender when you change your your sex part, and trans woman when you change some part of your body to become a trans woman. That's the difference. I know then for me that this is what for I me, to do. <laughs> and I felt something was missing out of my life. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, as I got older, I started, you know, when mom go to work, mm -hmm. put the heels on, walk around. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, bitch, I'm at, like, I'm cooking, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Mama and dad, and you, I, you the mama. I was always the mama, bitch. Always the mama. I was the daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I was the daughter. And eventually, I said, you know what? As I got older, and just like Kwanzaa said, it started for me when... I started hanging around with different people mm -hmm. because what happened was I was always quiet and I wasn't out of my shell because of my family. Mm -hmm. So I waited till I moved out, got my own place and started prostituting. Mm -hmm. And I saw what the other people was doing. I felt like, okay, they doing it. I want to do it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you first pop that first date, and they say, bitch, your head good. You do everything good. The money right. You be like, there it go. I learned a lot about 
um, Miss Juicy. She shared her story. She's open. She opened up because she didn't have to tell us about what she went through or what happened and all this and her husband, you know, all that stuff. And I appreciate Ro for bringing trans women together to talk about it because most trans women do not get together um, and talk about stuff like this because other trans women think that they're more than anybody because they have this D or that done. Yeah. Well, this was fun. Yeah. I'm hot as shit. It is. I like, thought, I thought the air had broke. Center. I could talk about that all day, all night, every day because they are so special. And then for, and it's so crazy because Jamie was actually supposed to come, but he didn't. And I actually talked to Jerome a couple of days ago. He was like, if he's not busy because he's supposed to have tennis, he will come. So I wasn't really, you know, expecting him to come. So, but once I got there and I seen my friend pull up, it just really touched my, my, my heart, and you know, it's, it's tough to get to that heart, but he came and that just meant a lot to me because that means he, he sees what, he sees my dream. He sees what I'm trying to do. He sees that. I <laughs> We have to get our masks. So this is, you said, this is the only. The only. Um, we're gonna talk to Miss Danielle. This is the only LGBTQ community. And what I found out, it used to be from 10 to seven. Mm -hmm. Now they're 24 seven. Also they house people here. So they are, I'm so happy, but mm -hmm. the only thing is that they only get, it's only uh, 18 beds here. 18 what? Beds. beds. Oh. Only 18 beds, um, so uh, people can still stay here, but some still have to go. Um, they're still trying to figure out how to spend, but also this is a, a shelter in a thrift store, too, as yeah. you can see. So people come here and donate to them. Mm -hmm. And they actually put the... Get um, your tax right off. Hello. And they actually put the... Um, they help put them transition to housing and housing to help them to get better. Wow. That's, that's uh, really what you need. I feel like that's what communities need more. More so to me than just like the housing, they need education, and they need, they need, they need to be help, they need help getting placed back into society. Yeah, it's like once they get in there, the place, what it is is state stability. Mm -hmm. How do I maintain it? So they also help them how to maintain it. So that was our biggest thing growing up. It's like, mm -hmm. because I have money, don't mean I need to spend it every single second. I need to figure out how to budget and budget and budget. You know what I'm saying? So. I took the donations to the Lost and Found, the Lost and Found nonprofit organization, which is the only Nonprofit organization that serves that serves specifically the home of the LGBTQ community. Um, I learned a lot that day. That day was very informative for me because it was very disheartening for me to learn that you know it only takes about two days for somebody mm -hmm. to feel hopeless before they turn to you know trying to have sex for money. And I know I may not be politically correct, you know, sex trafficking, um, politically correct term, but. You know, it really breaks my heart to think that people just don't understand their gifts and it could happen to anybody. So I don't wish, I don't wish badly on people. When you get done talking, let's know, okay? This is where they, uh, this is where they, uh, they, they pantry. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. You ready for me? I'm in the process of cleaning it up. You ready for me? How you doing? I'm well, how are you? You ready for me? As I wait, like, ready for me. Yeah, you're the girl, how you ready? You ready? <laughs> Okay, so this was a storage room, but I'm, tra I'm transferring, I mean, I'm uh, transforming it into a pantry. Okay. 
um, we have this is overflow uh, stuff for it that that I, we have a house we have the drop-in center and then we have the transitional home okay um, and so for those things like if they run out of like said they need extra food or mm -hmm. any of those things for me for outreach I'm the outreach coordinator oh wow so okay. for outreach well, I know I'm the outreach coordinator and I run the pantry okay <laughs> so with that um, this is when we take out like food or anything like that out you know I can check out whatever um, that I may need in here so we have like cleaning supplies, which we can always use more like cleaning. Okay, cleaning supplies. We can always use more cleaning okay, supplies, okay. especially cleaning during supplies. the panning. You know, yes, honey, I got cleaning supplies all day. Every time I go to Kroger, I got, I'm buying wipes. Yes. I'm buying bleach. So I have all that at home. So clean, yes, definitely cleaning supplies because at the center, you know, like you got the shower. You know, you oh yeah, things, you got a 24 seven all day it's every a, second. It's a shelter. Mm -hmm. you so have to. well, it's emergency beds. So um, we have that, and then emergency. at the house, we call them emergency beds. Okay, emergency um, beds. Because so like, I, I don't think it functions like a, as a full shelter, but we so said we have beds. Okay. Um, but we have the drop-in center, and then we have the beds. But so I say, I clean the supplies, food. Um, if anybody ever like donates um, canned goods, we ask that they're pop top, uh, so that you don't need a can opener just oh. in case they're on the street. This show represent us, me as well giving back and show that what we do in the community and i'm trying to help my community you know what i'm saying and at the same time i'm learning as well so at the end of the day just remember what we're doing this for the drama can be all day but just remember at the end of the day when you go home just remember did you do something right today did you take care of somebody else did you hold the door for that old lady that was walking in the door did you do something nice because when you see what we're going through in the world right now the whole event thing what happened with get your winter jackets Malik decided to invite me and some other people from the group to a yoga session so we could so I'm walking to yoga I've believe it or not I've never did yoga before I feel like you know we should just kind of come together and just kind of Namaste, get some peace. And um, initially, I had just really thought it would be something that me and Roshan could do together. But as we talked about it, we kind of like, you know, it was like, why not invite some of the other guys and people? yoga instructor she is doing the most she is bending me like a pretzel and just all type of things i didn't even know that my body could bend like that you know it's a lot of ass out and legs open and you know whatever the fuck she's talking about where i'm from we don't really do yoga so it was fun straighten the front leg flex the toes towards your face and fold over that straight leg So as the you know the yoga 
this session is wrapping up and everybody's kind of like getting their stuff and we're getting ready to head out to the balcony to just kind of enjoy like some lighter derbs. Um, I didn't like want to do too much, you know, it was a Sunday morning. I know we just had finished working out. So I got like some cheese and crackers, ham and, you know, salami and all of those things and sparkling water because who, first of all, let me tell y'all about this sparkling water. Um, Georgia, Georgia, Keisha, Keisha Bottoms. Um, yeah, the no serve alcohol, sell alcohol before 12 a.m. Um, girl, we need the alcohol by 12 a.m. I'm glad that you guys came out because I know this has been a tough year, you know, dealing with everything we're doing, going through with COVID, and you know, even on top of that, like trying to get to form friendships and get to know people that's been a you know test so i thank y'all for coming and you know namaste get some you know sure get you some peace we all nice yeah. about the tennis the tennis thing the, the elephant on the tennis court that day oh, yeah. well i wasn't there <laughs> i wasn't there so like at the I end of the day i came late but there was something going on <laughs> do you feel like you want to have a conversation with no. Gerald? No, next question. <laughs> I mean, we'll, on that note, let's so give a toast. It's the first time I'm done. Yeah. We'll and then this I mean, I feel like the, the Gerald thing is probably a lot deeper, especially with mm -hmm. you. So let me answer that. So what happened was me and him were having a conversation mm -hmm. and I said that Jerome comes off angry. That's all I said. I said Jerome comes off angry. And I said Jerome is a sidekick. And then news got from him to somebody else and it went to, to him. Oh, it got back to So him. he went on social sad. media and he was like Carrie had said something, and he was like, when I see you in row, I'm going to address the issue. And I'm like, wait, what? Like, I'm in my room, like, on my phone, like, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> um, so when I went to the event, and somebody asked, I don't know, somebody was like, do we have any problems? I, I, I think it was him. I'm not sure. Somebody was like, do we have any problems? And I was just sitting there, drinking my drink. I was like, I don't know what's going on. And then five minutes later, it just... <laughs> it just went left. But my thing is, you can't get on social media and say and think that you gonna say whatever you want to say and yeah. don't think that no one is going to be there to respond yeah. because from what i'm standing it, he basically called the boy out on social media yeah. like pull up this day i'll see you yeah he said december 4th when i see you we're gonna address it so something like that yeah day. a day it was, it was on social media oh i can send you the on screenshot <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's the fact like shot. you can't be calling and people event, out on social media, and this the whole that was me and his problem. And at the event, he kept saying, "Oh, you think somebody's your friend, but they going around telling that about their, produ their production, this and that." And I was sitting there still unaware, just drinking my drink, just like looking around. And all along, the, the, the person day. was you. He was talking about, but I guess like you know, in his head, he wanted me, me to be upset at you. For telling somebody else, but I mean, I said it on camera. He comes off angry. We all know it. He comes off angry. That's just what it is. Even That's Jerome it. knows that. He comes off angry. He does. If he was here right now, he'd be like, I'm ready to go. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm mad. Like, that's him all the time. For no reason. It's the mimic for me. It's the mimic. <laughs> I'm mad. It's <laughs> From the few times that I've seen Gerald, he gives me like Tourette's. I don't know. He gives me like this. <laughs> like thing, so I was just demonstrating what I see with him. I just feel like sometimes he just, you know, it's funny at this point with him. Like he just goes off into his little, his little episodes. And the time of the event, like literally, he grabbed his winter jacket and then he paced back and forth. And he was just using he, he was doing all this and that. So I decided to, you know, give a little show, give a little performance. The 
all the fucking time. Like, I met him, what, three times? Every time. The first time I met him at tennis, there was an issue. Um, at the at the party, he kept saying, I'm from Detroit, I'm from Detroit. I'm like, okay, I don't know what that means. I'm from Fort Lauderdale, okay. And then on Instagram, and then at the event. Yeah, I mean, I get it. And I understand. I'm new, I've so. been kind of dealing with it for a while, yeah. so I understand. And I that just was the <laughs> Listen, that was the whole problem we had. After, after his, you know, your event, and he went bad shit crazy. So funny. It was so funny to see Roche like mimic Gerald. <laughs> it was so funny to see Roche mimic Gerald because I had kind of got word that Gerald was kind of trying to mimic me or whatever the case was. So. It's funny seeing him like mimic him. It was like, girl. <laughs> you get on social media, Bad and crazy. then you proceed to then, you know, say whatever you said, calling me a bum on Instagram. So then when I respond to you on Instagram, that's the issue. And then, and I have a private conversation where it's no, we're not filming, we're talking, you and me, and this is what I could have said to you right. in response, but I wasn't trying to hit below the belt because that's not where, you know, that's not what we're here for. Then your friend comes and sit down with me and then say, says the comments in front of the camera. So I'm like, who more guilty here? Me and him, like I, I had no intentions on even right. bringing this right. to to the the forefront. But at the end of the day, hopefully, you know, we can leave all this negative energy, bad vibes, you know, potential friendships that may not work in 2020. And you know, with that being said, let's toast to the new year. <laughs> Child. So my can is hit me by my stick. Oh, oh, no, 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 that's what that <laughs> No. <laughs> Get another drink. Get another drink. What's that? Oh, that's oh, time. Man, it's real life. Namaste. <laughs> So it's no tea.